Hey everyone, in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to acquire minor league StatCast data in Python. And what's really cool about it is, you know, you can StatCast search minor league data now on Baseball Savant, but that allows us to then acquire it in Python via the minor leagues. Now, I pulled this here from Baseball Savant in terms of what tracking is available. So, SACAS tracking is available since 2021 for certain levels and ballparks. Data is available for all AAA games starting with last season in 2023, and then Pacific Coast League games and Charlotte home games since 2022, and then as well in the single-A Florida State League 2021. So, you can acquire well, all the way back to 2021 to acquire Minor league stat cast data, AAA will have 2023 in full, but then Pacific Coast League and the Charlotte Knights, their home games for 2022 allows you to get stat cast data. But really cool, so I'm going to show you guys how to acquire that stat cast data, but first, you'll need to run this entire stat cast search minor leagues, and the beauty of it is... You can go on my GitHub and pull this information to be able to run this script or save this script, however you so please. And I'll show you how to do that via my GitHub um, from the home page, we'll say, here in a second. Assuming you're on my page, my home page for GitHub, github.com slash my name, Robert Fry, you will go to repository so the most popular one is YouTube go click on that and then you'll scroll down to M you can see minor league stat cast data in Python so you'll click on that and then the SC search minor leagues that script you'll click on the raw and then you can copy this and paste it into your script and save it do whatever you want with it but that's an efficient way, a quick and easy way to be able to pull that data and put it into your Python environment, whichever it may be. I use Spider. Um, I know there's different IDEs that people use, but I'll use Spider in this example and then save it and then you're able to run it. Now, now we're back in Python and we're going to run this entire script by allowing us to then have those functions to then pull this statcast data. So, simply put, you know, if you copy and paste it in here, you can run this whole script with Spider by just running run file. Should be good to go. Now we can go into writing our script. And real quick, make sure you have NumPy, Pandas, Request Date, Time, and I.O in your uh, available packages. I'll leave a link below on how to install packages through the terminal. But basically, if you have pip, which is the Python package manager, essentially, it allows you to then install those, those different Python packages, and then you would just run it in the terminal in this corner here uh, if you are in Spider. But I'll leave a link below on another way you can do it using the command line um, of your machine. So, let's go into our data set. So we will say import pandas as PD. So make sure you have pandas installed as well. And then from date time, I'm going to import date time and then time delta. And then import, of course, SQLite 3. So we're going to create like a light, lightweight version of a SQL database. So let's connect to the database or create an initial connection. So we'll say SQLite 3 connect. We'll say minor league statcast data. Call it whatever you'd like. Um, in this case, we'll just call it minor league statcast data dot DB for that database. And then what we'll do is this. We will create, we will essentially test out that uh, 
function that we created for that minor league stat cast search and we'll acquire we'll just do one day we'll acquire the opening day in AAA. so od od string and then we'll uh convert the opening day um date time to a year 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 you know year month day format so that way it fits that statcast search and so we'll just call this df opening day again call this whatever you want we'll do statcast minor leagues which this function is very similar to just regular statcast with um pi baseball amongst others uh, baseball scraper i believe uses this as well but then we just say hey we want to scrape that opening day now it should give an error because we have it on a separate script but if you're in spider i can't be for certain if you use other environments that this same thing will happen but it will have this and so now we'll run all of this and see what kind of data we acquire so it might again might take a couple of seconds uh, to acquire that minor league data but here is opening day minor league data now i'm not sure if you can see the data set itself if not um it just shows you know triple a stat cast data on opening day similar to what nlb stat cast data would look like um, unfortunately though there's no bat speed or swing length data in the minor league so you won't get to the pleasure of seeing that but you still get the same types of columns that you would in with minor league stack cast data so that's a good test for it so now let's create a way to acquire all the stat cast data from opening day up until present day to run through this and then upload it to your database and then you can query it however you'd like so let's do current date and we'll say opening day and then today date time today And then we can say while current date is less than or equal to today add that colon and then we'll say date string equals current date and then of course we'll convert the time using the string f time function into a year month day format then while it's running why not have a thing that says you know let's fetch minor league stat cast data for and then we'll just call this date string so that way when you're running it it'll print out saying hey we're, we're pulling this you know on this day and so we'll say df statcast minor leagues and again it might give you an x because it's not technically within the script again this that might not apply for if you're in a jupyter notebook or elsewhere but anyways i'll say date string and then this is solely up to you but you can remove the index column because when you pull this data it will give you an index column but if you want to get rid of it here's how you can simply do it df drop columns equals df columns zero yeah here axis equals one and then in place equals true we can drop that index column and then with the data set here again if you can't see it my apologies in advance but 
you if you do see it you'll see some of them will have like pitcher period one fielder underscore two period one basic meaning that there's multiple columns with those so i want to get change those that way when you query it from uh, sql it's a little bit easier since underscores are easier to work with periods uh, just in case so simply put i'll just do df rename and then we'll say Pitcher period one, colon, pitcher underscore one, comma, fielder underscore two period one, and then fielder underscore underscore. And so, they will pull that, um, let's get rid of the, I meant to put a squiggly bracket, not a square bracket, so make sure to replace those, and then we'll say axis equals one, and then same thing, in place equals true. So that way we rename those columns. Then we're gonna say if df is not none and not df empty. So just making sure that as long as there's rows of data in the data set, append to this database so then we can say df under period two underscore sql and then name the table name it whatever you want so this is the name of the database and then here's the name of the table so you can call the stat cast data or minor league um no that would mess with it so I'll just call this StatCast Data MILB for now. And then the connection that we created. So the CONN is what we called it earlier. And then if exists, make sure you have this. So basically, if the data table exists, append. So meaning add that row of data that you created to it. And then our index is false so we don't want an additional index and then we'll tab back out and then say current date plus equals time delta days one which just basically means hey we're going to run this And they loop through each day. So this is a pretty simple way of just saying, hey, we're going to loop through each individual day up until present day. And then at the end here, just to make sure, we're going to run connection close. Which all that does is just closes that database connection. That way you don't accidentally write information or have too much, you know, maybe double the columns or things like that. So. What we're going to do, so typically I would run this, but it would take a while because it would run from opening day up until present day. So instead, what I'm going to do is change today to just date time, you know, 2024. Um, we'll just add, we'll just do April 2nd. And so that way you can kind of see like the couple of days and what it prints out and things like that. So. I'm going to run this, run this, and then I'm going to highlight this entire section. And then you can look here in the bottom right corner and see what happens. So now seeing it saying it's fe fetching minor league stat cast data for you know, March 29th, March 30th. And it should continue on. Now in this case, it will look a little, diff a little bit different because I changed it to today and not uh, or I change it to uh, April 2nd and not today because again that will take a while to run all of that data but you know on, on your own time you can definitely run all of that data this is just for an example so it'll sh just show the first five days of AAA data and then so it ran, seems like there's no errors. So we'll close that connection. 
And now what we can do is this. Rerun this line, so line 19, we can rerun it. And then what we'll add is we'll just call this DF and then we'll say PD from pandas, read SQL. And then within it, you can say, have a query. So we're going to say select star from statcast data MILB where release speed is greater than or equal to 98. And then add a comment, know what database connection we're pulling from. And then we can run that closed connection again. So essentially what this query is going to do is it's going to select all rows where the velocity was 98 or greater miles per hour. Now, depending on whether or not you selected in terms of date the entire season or up until April 2nd, you'll have a different amount of rows than what I may have. So we'll rerun this and then we'll run this. And I messed up, so I forgot the from. So select star from StatCast data, MILB, where release speed is greater than or equal to 198. Or not 198, 98. And then we'll close that connection. And so we see, at least here, we have 123 rows of pitchers in that five-day time span to throw 98 or more. Again, if you can see it, great. If not, I apologize, but... We have in AAA, Tony Santillan, Colin Holderman, Prelander Barroa, Bo Bresky, and you have a bunch of Paul Skeens. Makes sense there. Edward Cabrera. So from that, it'll give you basically, you know, a neat little query that you can run. But the moral of the story is that StatCast data has been inserted into your database now. And so... Going forward, what you could do is, you know, let's say you run it for the first time and you run it until, you know, the all-star break or something like that. Then you can change this to, you know, current date is date time today, you know, minus one and then date time today. And then that way, change this to today. And then in the future, you can run this each day to then have an entirely full year's worth of minor league stat cast data in Python. So thank you so much for watching. Really hope you do enjoy this content. If you did enjoy it and you want to help me out and support me and, and, and help, so, you know, if I've supported you in a way and you want to help return that favor, I do have a link for buy me a coffee. You're more than welcome to, but don't feel like you have to. It's, I'm not forcing anyone to go say, hey, you know, put this behind a paywall or anything like that. But if you think my work deserves support, I'd be more than happy and more than appreciative for your support in helping you grow into you know, a better analyst and, and working with MLB data and other sports worth of data. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.